Circuit City Stores, Inc. v. Adams 2001, it is unclear if an employer can force employee arbitration. In the case Circuit City Stores, Inc. v. Adams 2001, Adams was hired by Circuit City and signed an agreement that any disputes between the employee and the employer were to be settled by arbitration. This is a common clause to avoid going to court, which is lengthy and costly. Many contracts include this clause, like real estate contracts, for example. The case specifically questioned whether the Section 1 exemption of the Federal Arbitration Act applied to an employment contract for an employee at Circuit City Stores. The case made it to the U.S. Supreme Court, who, on appeal, upheld the arbitration agreement. This all came about after Adams sued Circuit City for employment discrimination. Circuit City responded with a challenge to the case that it had to be decided by arbitration and not in court because of the arbitration clause which the employee signed as part of being hired by Circuit City. In the end, however, California courts declared the arbitration clause unconstitutional and Adams did pursue a suit against Circuit City in court. This case has remained a test of the ability of an employer to hold an employee to arbitration instead of court. Circuit City Stores, Inc. v. Adams, 2001. A. Arbitration is better than court. It's lower cost and less time. B. It is unclear if an employer can force employee arbitration. C. Employers have the right to force employee arbitration. D. Title VII applies to same-gender sexual harassment, too. Well, the best answer choice from what we've been given in this case for Circuit City Stores, Inc. v. Adams 2001 is B as in boy, it is unclear if an employer can force employee arbitration, especially in cases like HR of um, employment discrimination.